Have you ever been interested in the town master plan or how the building projects get approved and the role of the extra planning department? Hi, I'm Lang Plummer. I'm chairman of the extra planning board and I'd like to give you a brief uh, overview and information of the planning board for the town of Exeter. Extra planning board is made up of seven members, one of whom is a selectman's representative. We also have four alternates and we do have room on the alternates. That's the place you start it says, as an alternate uh, and those are currently vacant. We meet regularly on the second and the fourth Thursdays of the month. We're a land use board working under the laws of the state of New Hampshire. Four main areas that we are responsible for, first of all, is the extra master plan. Very important document that has to be revised at least once every 10 years, but we use it as a living document and are now in the process of beginning to review uh, that plan. That guides the town to help it develop as it continues to grow over the years. It's sort of a roadmap of sorts. And think of it that way. Uh, and we depend on it very much so. We, we watch it closely. We have a subcommittee of the board that does that. Uh, we work with other town boards we, and we oversee changes in zoning to help facilitate growth uh, and the development of the town. So at times the zoning needs to be changed based on our experience or courses, cases we've dealt with. And uh, then that comes again to the voters in the annual town meeting time. And third is we develop the capital improvement plan. Uh, this, this plan looks over the next five years uh, and the growth of the town relating to the needs and the costs. So we talk about the public works department, the, the infrastructure in the town, the town vehicles, the fire department vehicles, uh, and other things, and then of course the water department uh, and their needs in terms of helping making sure that we as citizens have a adequate supply of water that's properly treated. Really the, the main function of the board are, are the meetings we have. Where we process and, and discuss and have presented to us a variety of cases, be them uh, multi-development uh, uh, homes and uh, developments and industrial uh, development that takes place in town. Uh, so that's where the majority of our time is spent. Uh, and we, of course we have the back, backup of the staff in the planning office that I mentioned a little bit earlier. I personally have enjoyed serving on the planning board for many years. I started when I retired and uh, I stay with it. Uh, I find it's a very professional board. I would recommend if you're interested in the planning board, you're really not sure, a little nervous about it, well come to a meeting or two and see how we run and how we operate. We try to do our best. We use our, our best judgment. This board uh, usually agrees on things, but not always, and we agree to disagree when that occasion comes, and that's that's how the vote is taken. Uh, so it's it's always been a positive uh, board to be involved with, and I think it's a great experience to be serving your community in a manner in which uh, you actually have a better idea of what's going on in town. So please come to a meeting and or call the office, planning office and see if you can uh, get uh, some more information in that particular way. I want to thank you for taking your time watching and I want to wish you a very good day. Thank you. If you're interested in learning more or applying to serve on a town board or committee, you can visit the town website for more information, or you can contact Pam McElroy in the town manager's office. She can be reached via email or by calling 603-773-6102. Thank you for watching this video.